everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for both today and tomorrow across a good portion of the united states we're gonna be looking at mostly the central and southern plains but we do have a big tornado potential today across portions of the ohio valley so we're gonna get to that as well in this forecast make sure to hit the like button as well subscribe for more great forecasts let's get right into it so as of right now there is a slight risk of severe weather across portions of the ohio valley again we'll get to that in just a moment because there is gonna be a tornado threat there that's why i'm bringing it up there is a marginal threat for severe weather here across western texas into new mexico today main threats can be damaging winds and large hail low end tornado threat also exists near new mexico there's also a slight risk of severe weather for that complex of storms that is currently in eastern oklahoma that's going to be moving into arkansas and eventually toward mississippi and alabama during the afternoon and evening hours today so just keep that in mind main threat with that will be just damaging winds and maybe a little bit of isolated large hail so as i kind of mentioned before there's actually gonna be a tornado threat across areas like indiana as well as ohio today and it also could include northern kentucky and as well as west uh, west virginia as well as far southwestern pennsylvania and eastern illinois again the tornado threat does exist a few tornadoes will be possible they are likely going to issue a tornado watch by the way pretty shortly so just keep that in mind uh, while you're tuning in by the way there's a tornado outlook for today as well in new mexico there's a very low end chance again i'm not really expecting much in terms of a tornado threat but i can't rely on isolated tornado today here's a look at the future radar across arkansas again that line of storms is moving through far northern north texas and as well as uh, oklahoma that line of storms will continue to push there through areas like little rock this afternoon eventually moving toward areas like mississippi later tonight again that complex of storms is going to primarily produce damaging winds can't rely on some isolated quarter size tail but other than that that's the only threat with that line of storms again it's outflow driven we're not looking at a tornado threat looking at uh, new mexico for this afternoon again an isolated storm may develop a few of them might develop across the central and southern areas of new mexico this afternoon eventually by seven eight o'clock most of these storms will fizzle out after sunset but if any do uh survive we very well could see a couple of severe storms in western the western panhandle of texas and as well as possibly west texas and a few areas but other than that main threat again being some isolated large hail and damaging winds i'm not a forecasting by the way significant hail like we saw yesterday or anything like that all right let's go to ohio this is again a big threat for today there is again a slight risk for severe weather a good chance for a few discrete cells this afternoon to develop near cincinnati as well as portsmouth and uh, those storms all move off to the north going toward columbus later today by six to seven o'clock again this is an est time by the way storms will eventually go off to the northeast we'll start to have a little cluster of storms develop back out here to the west any of those storms that develop in that cluster will likely just produce damaging winds the tornado threats can be most existent with those storms that are over here that are going to be moving off to the northeast so although again a tornado threat will exist with those storms primarily by eight to nine o'clock we'll eventually see a cluster of storms move off to the east going into areas like west virginia by about 10 to 11 o'clock tonight and eventually everybody will dry out in ohio tonight now there is a slight risk for severe weather tomorrow as of right now this is the outlook it actually it's a, this is actually not the right outlook it's very close to what it is though the slight risk was extended into uh northwestern arkansas now uh, but this is the latest graphic from this morning as of right now it's pretty accurate but uh, there's a slight risk of severe weather across southern nebraska central and western kansas and northern oklahoma as well as the northern texas panhandle and eastern colorado very similar to what we saw yesterday however the threat is not nearly as high main threat is going to be damaging winds and maybe some large hail isolated tornado threat does exist the tornado threat did grow a little bit so it includes a bit more of this black shaded region now so it does go into northern oklahoma now but uh, other than that a pretty low end threat overall so i wouldn't be too concerned about it, but make sure you have the proper precautions in place and make sure you have a safety plan in place as well in case there is a tornado to, uh, going to tomorrow the hail threat overall tomorrow, by the way, primarily going to be focused across portions of Nebraska, as well as northwestern Kansas, and as well as eastern Colorado. That's the main area there, the hatched area, representing your potential for tennis ball-sized hail, uh, as high as tennis ball-sized hail, possibly a little bit higher than that as well. Here's a look at that damaging wind threat as of right now. You can see the damaging wind threat most prominent across uh, central and southern Kansas into northern Oklahoma. So that's going to be your main threat in terms of damaging winds there. Take a look at the future radar. Storms will fire up most likely between about 6 to 8 o'clock. A couple of discrete cells. Those will be the most prominent to produce that low-end tornado threat and as well as the large to very large hail threat as well by eight to nine o'clock you can see that main discrete cell near there near colby again that's the main area where i expect any sort of discrete cells to develop by 10 to 11 o'clock we'll start to see a very broken line of maybe some showers and storms moving down to the south fairly similar again to what we saw yesterday again it's not nearly as severe though but most of these storms will produce maybe some large hail maybe some damaging winds that entire line will move down to the south through southeastern portions of kansas during the overnight hours eventually going into oklahoma at three four in the morning we'll start to see some clusters of storms areas near tulsa and in northeastern oklahoma i don't expect a whole lot to be honest anywhere else there might be a few storms near the panhandle but as of right now the hr model is not indicating that but there's obviously a potential for that during the late evening hours there all right make sure to stay updated again with north texas weather center for the latest we may go live going to tonight by the way so just keep that in mind for the ohio valley make sure to follow our page again here on youtube for the latest this forecast is brought to my platinum contracting all dense repair and the